we have a half rack of jerk flavored ribs, man. The mac and cheese. It's a little method to the madness of making drinks, man. A little ice cream in here. Soldier summertime so litty. Hey, hey, they got the beats out here. They don't got regular ice cream trucks, you heard? Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kels, and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're here in Brooklyn, we're ready to go find some more amazing much try food, man. So if you guys are ready for that, you know who I am, let's do it. All right guys, we're here in Brooklyn, we made it to Sweet Science. Let's go in there and get some bomb food, man. I'm so hungry, and I'm so ready, let's do it. Guys, we're posting up here outside of Sweet Science. I'm ready to go in right now. My guy Tim brought me a drink. Uh, let's see what kind of drink this is, man. And this lady, you already know. This right here is called the Hot Mess. Now, there's misguided tequila in it. They have watermelon and it has mint as well. With the watermelon on top. What kind of cocktails do you guys like, man? What's your thing? What's your favorite go-to drink? Do you like tequila? Do you like vodka? Are you more of a cognac, a scotch, or whiskey person? Let me know. Ooh, the first thing I taste from this drink, guys, the tropical taste of the watermelon. Tastes really good with this. The mint, the splash of simple syrup, gives that little sweet taste to it. And the tequila is here, for sure. Mm-hmm. We have a half rack of jerk-flavored ribs, man. Look at these things, man. They look so well seasoned. Yo, my mouth is watering right now for some jerk rib. And you know we had to get some sides, 100. We got the mac and cheese that comes with bacon pieces in it. Looks so fire, look at that. We had to get the grits, man. Some people like sugar, some people like cheese, some people like butter. They have them so many different kinds of ways. It's a sharp cheddar, cheesy grits. Kind of feel like if I start with the ribs, it's gonna get wild and crazy and super messy. So let's start with the mac and cheese first, and let's go from there. Bro, wow. The creaminess of it is the first thing you taste. The cheese is just right. Mmm. It's not like a ton of bacon, but it's enough to add some flavor to it. These right here are fish. A little water, cleanse our palate real quick. Woo. The jerk flow on these things. Mmm. <laughs> Bro, yo, off rip, the ribs, super tender, super juicy. They fall right off of the bone. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's slightly different than what I'm used to having before. It's not as spicy, but it definitely has a little kick to it. Has a little bit of sweetness to it as well, which I really like. Right, let's get into the grits and see what those hit for. Mmm. What I love about grits is that you can put it with like some shrimp, some steak, some chicken, and it's gonna hit different. Mm, it's not too thick, it's not too runny, it's just the right texture, and I like it this way, guys. Scale of one to five, five of the best I've ever had, one being not so great. When you get the grits, when you get these, a 4.2. When you get the jerk ribs from Sweet Science, a 4.6, man. These are so fire, guys. So we're gonna give the mac and cheese from Sweet Science a 4.8. Really good, very velvety, very rich, fresh. We gotta give a hot mess of five, man. Real rap, this is hitting, guys. But you have to come through, it's amazing, man. Let's wrap this up and head to the next spot. Let's do it. We stay here in BK, we made it to the soul spot. I got my boy Mel. Yeah, thank you, boy Mel. We here in the building at your soul spot. We about to go in here real quick. Yeah. Full orgasms, you heard? Right, right. Right, right. Right, right. Let's get it. Let's get it. And what's your name? Hi, my name is Seda. Seda? Yes. Nice to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so I heard so many good things about this spot. 
Is there anything that's popular that people come here for? It's, sure, we have our most popular meal is a jerk chicken, fried chicken, I sell. That's like the most popular. Okay, what's your favorite though? I like the jerk chicken. You like the jerk chicken? Yes. Okay, for sure. So I gotta go with the jerk chicken. Can I get the uh, the two chicken combo? Sure. I'm gonna go with um, the fried chicken and the jerk chicken. Okay. So it comes with the jerk chicken and the fried chicken. You know we had to go with those for sure. And we went with some different sides. We usually go with the mac and cheese, or the collard greens, or the green beans. But this time, guys, we had to switch it up a little bit with some mashed potatoes here, as you can see, and some sweet plantains, man. So you already know, man. Caribbean things, you know how I say, it's about to go down. Oh, and she blessed us with an extra side of fried chicken right here. I'm not gonna eat this today, but I definitely won't eat it tomorrow. You already know. It smells so fire. The sun is setting right now. We got the good food on deck. The fried chicken's hitting. The sweet plantains, the mashed potatoes, the jerk chicken on that thing. Do we go with the chicken first? Let's do the fried chicken. All right. You want to say what's up? Say what's up, bro. Yo. What's what's up? Look right here. Uh, you see it? You Tristan? Yeah, I'm Tristan. You from this hood? Uh, nah, I'm from Marine Park. I'm from, my uncle, he owns this spot. Your uncle owns this spot? Okay, that's what's up. So this is one of your favorite spots then? Of course. That's fire, bro. I appreciate you. Tell your uncle I said thank you. Okay. Right? And I'll definitely put you on the channel, bro. Okay. All right? What's your YouTube? My YouTube, Kells. Appreciate okay. you, bro. I'm going to tag you, all right? Okay. All right, cool. Shout out to Tristan's uncle right there. We appreciate you guys, man. I'll come back again and try some more food whenever you guys are ready. Bomb. Man. So we got no time. Sun is saying we're losing daylight. Let's get it. It's a chicken from Soul Spot. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know when you bite into the chicken and you can taste that it's been well marinated, the skin is nice and crispy, has that nice flavor to it. Lady guys, listen. Mm-hmm. Mm. Super sweet on the inside, nice and thick cut. I love how this tastes, guys. Do you guys say plantains or plantains? Let me know. Mashed potato flow, here we go. Mm. Wow. Buttery, soft to the taste. Mommy asked me if I wanted to put gravy on it, which I know she did. It'd be even more busting, but this is just right alone, guys. I like that. Mm-hmm. This is amazing, guys. Mm. The chicken falls right off the bone. The nice jerk chicken flavor comes right through as soon as you bite into it. I like the tenderness of the chicken. Mm. Mm. Scale of one to five, guys. We're gonna get the chicken. Five being the best of a half. One being not so great. We're gonna give the sauce spot. We're gonna give this a 4.7, guys. It's so litty. So for the plantains, guys, we're gonna give these here on a scale of one to five. We're gonna give these a four. I like how they taste. The mashed potatoes, though, bomb. We're gonna give this a 4.5. Definitely so good. So for the jerk chicken, we're gonna give this here a 4.3. I really like it. Look at the season on that thing right there. All right guys, we've been going in here. Soul Spot is 100% official, man. You heard it from the people here. We met Mel, we met Tristan, we met Saida. What else can I say, guys? Go out, support your own people. Definitely about to wrap this up. Head to the next spot, guys. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're here at Mia's Bakery right there behind us. Everything in the front looks amazing. Let's go in there and get some bomb dessert. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're stuff for Mia's Bakery, and everything looks so official, man. When you walk in there, it's definitely experience. It was tough for me to choose, but I definitely went with this one here. This is the cookie dough cupcake. Got the vegan raspberry cake. I haven't had one of these in a long time, man, but I will tell you, these things are official. And I can't say I've ever had one that's vegan before, so you already know, we're gonna try it today and see what it's heading for. Try that one. Mm, very fresh. I like the whipped cream frosting. Mmm. It's like a little chocolate chip cookie on top. It's definitely hitting right now. 
I love eating sweet stuff, especially in the late night. We're gonna give this here a 4.4. I really like this, guys. Vegan raspberry cake, for me, it's bakery. We're going straight commando style, hand to mouth. You already know. Wow, the sponge cake, so soft. The raspberry filling is so sweet and tart at the same time. Let me know what your sweet tooth is. Do you like ice cream? Do you like candy? Tell me what it is, guys. On a scale of one to five, five being the best I've ever had, one being not so great. Wouldn't you give this one here? Wouldn't you give us a four? I really like the combination of the flavors in it. It's a little bit sweeter than I thought it would be. All right, guys, we definitely indulge in all the sweet stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll see you guys in a second. You already know. All right, guys, I pretty much wraps up our episode for today. We came out, had so many good options for food, man. I am stuffed, I am finished, I'm done, I'm tapping out. Yo, guys, I'm about to head to the crib right now and lay it down, man. But I appreciate you guys for coming on the journey with me today. To our next food adventure, guys, it's your boy Kels. Stay safe, stay blessed, stay dangerous. We out.